Sean Cunningham. Hey, Marvin. Obviously, um, that third quarter looked to be the, the difference tonight for you guys. Where did that kind of go wrong in your mind? Um, made the same mistakes as last game against this team. Uh, kind of similar situations where it was a great first half. Uh, we came out second half and just, just went downhill. Uh, we got to learn from that. Um, this, we were in the game, we played very well in the first half, and then we come back in the second half and, and play the way we played. Um, I just, that just gives them confidence and they go on the run. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's hard to fight back from being down 20. Um, especially if we was already right there, close game, down five and a half. Uh, we just got to do better. James Ham. Hey, hey, Marv, what does it feel like sometimes you guys have things that are working really well and then all of a sudden you go away from them completely? Is it you guys just like not following through on those things or is it other teams taking things away from you? Uh, man, I, that's a good question. Uh, I feel like, you know, when teams uh, in the past, they've got in, got in into us, uh, we kind of we kind of drift away from what we do offensively and, and uh, you know, we don't play how we play. Uh, other times it's just adjustments that we need to make. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I just know we can't keep losing. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not a good feeling to keep coming into games that we have a good chance of winning and losing them. So we just got to figure something out. Jason Jones. Hey Marvin, just, what about that first quarter that worked so well for you guys didn't carry over throughout the rest of the game? Well, we're playing, we're playing like we, you know, we, we played the, uh, with the right way. We shared the ball, uh, hit the open guys. Uh, defensively, I think we did a good job. Uh, man, I mean, it was a great first half, great first quarter, but um, you know, for whatever reason, we drifted away from it and they just got confidence and took off. Marshall Harris. Marvin, uh, certainly you guys are a far cry from the three and one start. Your 10 losses, uh, second most in the NBA right now. What is the level of frustration, especially considering how you played in the first quarter tonight and what ended up happening in the second half? Like I said, man, I hate losing. I can't speak for everybody else. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure the rest of the team hates this feeling. But for me, I, I, I've I hate losing. Uh, we got to figure something out, man, because this is, it's not cool to just come out here and just give teams, you know, the okay to think that they can come in and just, it's going to be an easy night against us. It's going to be a, a game that they can easily check off as a W. Um, and we got to put that to an end uh, ASAP because if we just keep coming out like this, it's going to be a long season for us. A few more questions from Marv. Jason Anderson. Hey Marvin, I sense the the frustration in you. Um, what you know, you've been around basketball a long time. Uh, what would you do right now? What what needs to happen uh, for things to get better for you guys? Man, just keep fighting, keep fighting, man. Like I said, do good or bad. I said in the past, no matter how how it's going, we got to stay stay with each other. You know, stick with each other. Don't go separate ways. Don't uh, don't try to split split up from the group. Um, you know, just keep fighting as a team together, good or bad. Uh, but we we seriously had to really everybody. We seriously have to really look at, look at everything and figure out how we could get back to how we were playing in the beginning of the season and continue to build on that, man. Because when we're playing like that, I feel like we can beat any team in the NBA. But if we have nights like tonight where we just have a good first half, come back in the second half, and, and not play as well as we did in the first and let teams get confidence and, and, and get things going. And it's going, like I said, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a long season. Matt George. Hey, Marvin, I know you're not a, a big guy on moral victories, but at least during that first quarter, uh, compared to the start of the season, things look a lot more fluid, a lot more smooth for you. Like you're finding your spots with ease. The offense is coming to you naturally and your teammates know where to find you. Would you agree with that? Does the game feel like it's coming to you a lot smoother than maybe it did a, a month ago? 
Um, man, I'm just playing. I'm just playing basketball, man. Um, you know, using my natural God gift, uh, God gifted abilities that you know He blessed me with to just play the game. Um, you know, figuring things out on the fly, uh, just being in the right positions, uh, trying to play as hard as I possibly can, doing what I can, controlling what I can, and uh, everything else is really out of my hands um, at that point. All right, last question from Marv. Sean Cunningham. Marvin, kind of some of the things you're talking about there in terms of the frustrations of the losing, sometimes it's understandable if it affects camaraderie. How do you just feel your team has endured this streak and the desperation for a win? Um, I mean, I think that, you know, everybody in the locker room doesn't want to lose. Um, but uh, again, speaking for myself, it's just, it's, it sucks losing. Um, and you, you can never accept it. I, well, I can never accept it. it was just losing. Uh, we got to figure it out, man. It's a, it's a team, it's a team game, it's a team sport. Everybody has a, a important part on this team and we, we just got to figure it out, man. Uh, so we don't continue to, to give up games like this and, uh, get back on the right track. All right. Thank you, Marvin. Safe travels, man. Yes, sir.